Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. I've tried to film this video a couple of times already, but it was, I don't know, it just felt weird, so I thought I'd leave you a voicemail instead. It took some time to reflect about the past few months and just actually reflecting about my YouTube journey so far. I, started making videos a few years ago, just on and off, kind of for fun. I never really um, took it seriously, I guess, until last July. That's when I decided, hey, I'm gonna start putting videos out every single week. I really want to work hard and see if I can make this my my passion into like my, my job. The following months, I really put all of my time and effort, energy into making videos. Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, editing for Friday and film like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on and on and on. And it was honestly really, really fun for me. And I started doing longer videos as well, like those transformation videos, ones that would be like a week long. Those, I don't even know how I had that energy there, like film for five, seven days, I'd like pull all-nighters just to finish editing it on time so I could post it all in a week. So, um, yeah, that's just some university crackhead energy I guess I still have left in me. But it's um, spring of 2021 now and I guess I've just come to realize that I need to enter into the next chapter or maybe the next rhythm of life because Life is always changing, it's always in flux, your energy is always in flux and you need to adapt and have time to heal and I mean not like I was scarred or anything, I was just putting so much energy into making videos that you know at a point I, I talked about this too, I felt like my life became about YouTube rather than YouTube being about my life and you know, I realized that months ago, but now I'm getting to a place where I can really start implementing changes. And one of those things is just being easier on myself in terms of posting schedule. Like, I want to take more time to think about the videos I want to make and, you know, make more of these like week long filming videos. I have so many ideas I want to do. Someone messaged me the other day asking if I wanted to try fasting for a couple of days. Honestly, like, I totally would like I'm someone who's just like down to try everything at least once even if I don't continue them like that 5 a.m. week that was oof, that was something else I don't know if I could do that um, consistently but it was sure fun doing it for a week oh and before I go on I just wanted to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video and that's better health they're an online counseling service I really want to say thank you to them because I don't think I would have ever tried therapy without them I love that I can just have these calls or actually you can even text or like video call but I usually call they give you this quiz that asks you about everything that you may be struggling with or things you want to change and they pair you with the best possible counselor so it really makes things a lot easier and it's totally free to actually change counselors too. I love that you can just call from the comfort of your own home, pick whatever time that works for you and the service is available to people worldwide and it's more affordable than traditional therapy plus there's financial aid so I think it's really powerful what they're doing, making therapy accessible. If you're also interested, they've blessed us with 10% off for first month. And you can just go to the link below, betterhelp.com slash Leah's Field Notes. And yeah, you can get 10% off your first month. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, I'm going to be being more gentle with myself. More accepting, more nurturing. I mean, I'm not a, a self-destructive person, but I think in terms of my work ethic, sometimes it can borderline on that unhealthy side where, I mean, I think we all feel that, you know, need to be productive all the time. I just think I need to be a bit more relaxed, lower my own expectations of myself 
when I moved out of Toronto and then before I came to Montreal, I was living at home for a month and my mom really saw like how much time I would be like editing and she was like, hey, like, do you really need to post a video every week? Like, can you just post every other week? And at that time I was like, you don't understand, like, YouTubers post once a week, like that's the thing, that's what people do. And like, yes, there are a lot of YouTubers that post every week but I was very focused on, I guess, only seeing those people and comparing myself to them and feeling like, oh, if I don't post every week, I'm slacking off. But also in actuality, there are a lot of people who are not posting every week. And I don't want to make my videos faster to edit, honestly, because it's a creative outlet to experiment and like all the typography, like layouts and even like playing more with like motion. Like, I would love to spend more time learning more about like motion design to be able to bring that into the videos or like animating and all these little things that really take time to learn, to fly. I guess everything just takes time basically. I wanted to leave this voicemail for you to, I don't know, I feel like I need to tell you this. I feel like we're in a relationship and I need to like say things before I do them. It's literally a situation where it's not you, it's me, <laughs> because you guys are honestly the sweetest community of people, like everyone that I've met in person that leaves me messages on my videos, my DMs, like I am so grateful for all of you i'm so thankful that you're in my life you brought me so much peace and purpose at a time when i felt so lost graduating school knowing that i didn't want to do like graphic design full time you guys really helped me find my own purpose by letting me know that my videos like helped you in any way made your day better or helped you feel more calm like that gives me purpose to like wake up and do things and be better to myself because I know that maybe it'll inspire you to be kinder and more gentle to yourself too and I think that's so beautiful like that we can do that for each other and I just want to thank you so much like this is obviously no goodbye I'm I say like, hey, I need a break. I'm not going to be posting every single week consistently, but there are probably going to be months where I do post every single week. And I guess this is just to say that don't be alarmed if I don't post one week or I don't post two weeks. I'm always going to be here and I'm always going to be cheering you on and hoping that you're taking good care of yourself and sending you virtual hugs even if I don't post the video that week. That's what I just really want to tell you, that I'm, I'm rooting for you. Whatever goals or dreams that you have, just keep keep going at it. And if it's your goal is just to like get up out of bed in the morning to make yourself breakfast, like that is a 100% valid wonderful goal so like no matter what stage you're in in your life i believe in you and i'm like really proud of you and the steps that you're taking you are doing more than enough so yeah that's all i want to say my life updates things are going pretty good i have my studio now so i'm really excited to be spending more time doing ceramics and Maybe even like painting or doing other things. Yeah, weather's getting warmer. There's like leaves on the branches, which is amazing. I biked to go visit a friend today and we just walked around. I think we're gonna do that like next week and draw outside, maybe draw houses. So I feel really good. I think I just wanna spend more time being fully in the moment not feeling like I have to like film anything or just be worried about like what's the next video gonna be. Just take a little break for myself, like a spring break. <laughs> My friend actually, she really wants to move to New York City. We were talking today and well we talked about this a bit before like how I w really want to live in another city. I have moved a lot like ever since then. I was little and I think going to new cities and meeting new people just being in a different environment really like energizes me and inspires me so totally tentative just an idea but I think I would honestly really be 
happy to take the opportunity to try living in New York for a period of time or even if it's just like a few months maybe like next year or just when things get a bit better that's something I want to share because it just made me feel a bit more excited about what's to come that's all for now I'm gonna sign off love you bye oh on the weeks that I don't post a video I think it would be fun to do a podcast my podcast is called Leah's Field Notes, but I might call it Uncut Candids because it's really just me talking and then like not editing because <laughs> it's nice to do something totally different for a change.